Good morning from the beautiful Cotswolds. It's Vlogmas day three and we're having to go home now. I have work later today which really sucks because I want to stay here even longer. It's just been the most amazing place to come and get away for the night. Before I go though I want to show you the best car that I've just found. I literally think that it's just so cute. Have a look at this. Actually the cutest little car. Love the colour. I don't actually know what type of car it is but it's so so cute and I saw it and I thought I want that car. In fact the whole place here is beautiful. You can probably see it's just really cute stone, loads of, excuse the foliage here, loads of little stones and hotels. Just the cutest cutest place. Hi guys, it's just before midnight. I'm having to be so quiet because my little sister Holly is asleep and I do not want to wake her up because she is grumpy when she gets woken up. So I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. I literally just finished work about an hour ago, so I'm really, really tired. In fact, I was kind of tired today at work. I think it's because I'd driven back from the Cotswolds. I was so tired. I went into my bag to get a bag of Maltesers and offer one to the guy that sits next to me and I pulled out a Tampax with the Maltesers. It was the most embarrassing thing of my life and I think he was just being really polite and kind of just ignored the fact that a tampon came out of my handbag and almost into his hand. It was embarrassing. I went bright red and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to look at him again. So all the time at work I was just so excited about something that I really want to tell you guys and I was bursting to like tell you all day today but I couldn't find a time to vlog because it was just so busy at work and I wanted to be able to tell you guys properly. So on Vlogmas day one I told you that there was a secret thing that I'm going to be doing in a few weeks time and I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to tell you but I can finally tell you today because it's all booked and it's definitely going ahead and I've got the time of work. I have never been so excited like literally so excited about something my whole life. So I'm going to give you some clues. The first thing is hussy dogs. The second clue is pine trees. The third clue is snow. The fourth clue is I'm trying to think of the fourth clue, reindeer. And if you haven't already got it, the fifth clue, Santa Claus. <gasps> oh! We're going to Lapland. <laughs> if it wasn't midnight, I would literally scream down the camera. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited and it means that I'm taking you guys with me so we're gonna go to Lapland oh I just can't explain how excited I am I'm like a child I just absolutely love Christmas and I've wanted to go to Lapland my whole life not just to see the northern lights but to see Santa and the reindeers and the husky dogs and the snow and it's just the best time to go because it's the build up to Christmas so it's going to be all Christmassy, they're going to have all the lights up there, it's just going to be amazing. And I leave in a couple of weeks, I go on the 16th of September for three, uh, September, December for three nights and I'm taking Holly with me, my little sister, so you'll have the two of us there each day and we have planned so much stuff. Already. We wanted to make the most of everything while we're out there so we're going to do a husky dog ride and we're going to do a reindeer ride and then we're going to go and see Santa and go to the elf workshop and build loads of sort of presents and help them wrap all the presents and you apparently pick a tree and you do something with a tree it's just gonna be amazing <laughs> I'm so excited I'm just so excited I really don't know anything that I've ever been as excited about Christmas means a massive amount to me I absolutely just go overboard with Christmas anyway last year I tried to build a grotto in my house with like snow that actually felt like real snow and we had trees and we had reindeer not actual reindeer but like wooden reindeer we just had so much stuff in the house that was really Christmassy and then I thought what do I want to do this year that 
I can really look forward to and so we decided to book Lapland and I'm just so 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 excited and the most amazing thing is that I can take you guys with me as well and I'm going to be able to vlog every day. We have to pack loads of thermal stuff as well so I've been having a look through the brochure and it says you need to take loads of warm clothing, hats, gloves, thermals, scarves, like ski boot kind of things so we have to pack loads of snow stuff to take with us. The other thing is I'm going to try and book something as a surprise for my sister and there's something there called the ice hotel which for those of you that don't know what that is the ice hotel is a hotel that's made completely out of ice the beds are made of ice the bar is made of ice the restaurant is made of ice like literally everything is made of ice and you sleep in this ice hotel so you sleep on top of the bed and they put like rugs down under the top of the bed and in sleeping bags but everything around you is ice and I'm so desperate to stay in this hotel so I think as a surprise for my sister I'm going to book a night in the ice hotel I really don't know what she's going to make of it because they don't have plug sockets or anything and she I don't know how she's going to deal with that I don't know how she's going to deal with the cold but she'll I think she'll really love it. So this is just like a dream come true for me. I really have wanted to go there since I was a child and it's just I wouldn't care if I got nothing for Christmas for like 10 years. This is just the best thing ever. I just, I just want to like scream. So I'm gonna love you and leave you all and if any of you have been to Lapland please put comments below and tell me any tips that I need to know. I did read that if you stay in the ice hotel you have to wear thermal underwear because cotton gets really wet in the ice. So any tips that you have just leave below because I'm just super super excited. I cannot explain how excited I am. I'm definitely gonna go now before I get even more excited. Love you all very much. Bye!